Thank you. And thank you, Dallas, who I hope is watching tonight. You know, when I was asked to speak with you tonight, I thought long and hard about what I should say. A lot of things went through my mind, considering that my state, Louisiana, is losing a football field of land every 45 minutes, and we've lost a million football fields to date. I could go into how the rising floodwaters entered my home a year ago last August, and then again in that following May, that the storms are getting more frequent, more intense, more costly, and more deadly. I could tell you how the photo behind me is of the Atchafalaya Basin. It's the largest natural swamp in North America, and I would certainly throw in that it is the most beautiful places on Earth. That's my swamp. It, it also contains some of the 700 waterways that Energy Transfer Partners, the pipeline company that brought you Dakota access and the human rights abuses at Standing Rock, are trying to ram their Bayou Bridge pipeline through. They are also endangering the drinking water of 30,000 people, including the water of the United Home Nation. This industry has taken hundreds of landowners to court and taken their land through eminent domain, and they continue to commit acts of environmental racism while um, continuing to have the worst spill record in U.S. history. But then you can learn that at nobvp.org. So I decided what I'd rather tell you about is how we're building a sustainable community in South Louisiana. We, yeah. We're going to have chickens and a co-op garden, and we're going to teach kids how to can, and we're going to teach people, oil workers, how to build solar panels. I would let you know that, I want to let you know that we have a camp, it's called Loe La Vie Camp, which means water is life. It's a resistant camp for the Bayou Bridge Pipeline. That's right. Mini Wachoni. The more and more people are standing up to be water protectors too, to monitor our, endanger, our endangered waterways. And I would tell you that the Freetown, St. James community, that they're standing tall. That the people in the basin are fighting back. That landowners all across Louisiana are raising their voices. That the, every day, more and more people are saying no more. Brothers, sisters, fathers, mothers. The resistance in Louisiana and in the Gulf of Mexico is strong and it is growing. Because we, the people, we, the people, must not yield to agencies or administrations or corporations that do not serve us. Rather, we must rise like the waters. We must melt together like the cypress trees when they fight against the storm. We must be fierce and we must be unafraid. But mainly, brothers and sisters, we must believe because believing is the only way that change and justice has ever been created. We can do this with faith and courage, and I believe in you, because I believe that we will win, and I'm gonna need you to help me, because sometimes, brothers and sisters, it gets hard. You know it gets hard, right? And sometimes, maybe we're too tired and we don't think we have the will to go on, but you know what? We have to tell each other, we have to hold each other, and we have to say, I believe that we will win. And I want you to say it with me now. And I want you to say it like you believe it from your heart. I believe that we will win. Say it. I believe that we will win. Again, I believe that we will win. I believe that we will win. Hold it, brothers and sisters, hold it in your heart and in your hands and keep it. And whenever you see somebody get tired, you say it again. I believe that we will win because we will. We will win.